Thanks so much for joining us here for your Fox 46 News at noon. I'm Paige Failing. Right now, federal officials say it's all hands on deck to restore fuel in the Colonial Pipeline. It doesn't just impact us here either. This network stretching from Texas to New Jersey forced to shut down after a cyber attack. It's being called one of the worst cyber attacks to date on critical U.S. infrastructure. Fox 46's Matt Grant joins us now. Matt, what do we know right now about this attack? Well, Paige, we do know that this was a ransomware attack, but it's still unclear who's behind it or what the hackers exactly are demanding. Ransomware attacks typically are carried out by criminal hackers, often based overseas. They infiltrate computer, ne computer networks, sometimes by sending real-looking emails with a link containing malware, which then encrypts files on that network. Hackers then can demand huge payments, tens of thousands of dollars to decrypt it. Colonial Pipeline says the Friday attack affected some of its IT systems, and pipeline operations have now been suspended as the company figures out exactly what they're going to do next. The same thing, you'll remember, paralyzed Mecklenburg County in 2017 when hackers held the government servers hostage. Coming up later today, I'm talking to a former White House official to ask who's likely behind this and what can be done to prevent these attacks from occurring again in the future. Paige. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever live at Love's gas station on Sam Wilson Road this morning to talk about how this cyber attack could impact people's pockets at the pump. Destiny. Good afternoon, Paige. So we know that right now here in North Carolina, we are seeing at least a percentage of an increase in the gas prices right here. So this could definitely impact you at the pump. Officials say this colonial pipeline serves 12 states along the East Coast, and each of them could notice gas prices increasing if this attack is not resolved today or tomorrow. Fuel from the line is used at the major airports for cars and homes. In a statement, Colonial Pipeline executives say they took certain systems offline to contain the threat and an investigation into the matter has been launched. When Colonial Pipeline gets restarted, the refineries already have supplies available to fill the void and Colonial Pipeline over the next couple of weeks will be able to catch up. Right now, Colonial Pipeline officials believe a Russian gang is responsible for this attack. So far, the next 24 hours will be very critical to see how this goes. Of course, we'll keep you on standby. Reporting live in Charlotte, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46.